On July 2, 2018, the 80 volcanoes of the Auvergne region became a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Since then, a whole population strives to preserve this priceless heritage. This is notably the task of these two nature wardens. They work for the regional natural volcanic park, which includes the massif called the Chêne des Prix. The volcanic park covers about 400,000 hectares. The Chêne des Puy is 13,000 hectares. The World Heritage section covers 40,000 hectares, so the Massif is just a small part. Our job is to keep the wildlife intact as much as possible. And to preserve these wild open spaces, the wardens identify and count the different insects that inhabit them. Hang on, it's under the leaf. There it is. Got it. Great. Today's mission is a tricky one. They're out hunting. That one's different, it's black. For ants. My one's a red ant. The wardens make an inventory of the species present in the sector. As for bait, they have a foolproof recipe. A square centimetre of paper on which we put some pâté and some honey to attract ants to make it like they're invading a picnic. A feast fit for ants? Yes, but short-lived, because they'll soon die once we preserve them in alcohol so that we can study them this winter under the microscope. Studying and exploring the minute creatures of these open spaces to better protect them but also to spread awareness among the half a million tourists who visit the region every year. It's our duty to safeguard the park, to keep it in its present condition, to protect it, with hundreds of new hotels popping up everywhere like mushrooms. So to encourage farmers to use the park for pasture, we need to get tourism down to a human scale. Keeping tourism on a human scale is also a matter of safety. The 80 volcanoes of the Auvergne the oldest of which date back 95,000 years, are inactive for the time being. But in the bowels of the earth, things continue to bubble. There's a probability of magma rising to the surface, causing a volcanic eruption. What we don't know is when this will happen. It could be tomorrow, in 10 years, 100 years, 1,000 years. They're still alive, they're dozing, but they're definitely not dead. Beyond the magnificent landscapes it offers us, the amazing properties of volcanic rock are also the joy of the region's craftsmen. On the outskirts of Clermont-Ferrand, this workshop produces enameled lava. It's painstaking work that consists in firing this magma stone for several hours in huge furnaces at 980 degrees Celsius. This is good, perfect, impeccable. I'm still like a kid in here. Every time a furnace is opened, it's a huge moment for me. With the heat coming out still at 130 degrees, right into your face. And you can see up close a finished piece that's still hot. Today, more than half of the company's business is overseas. The side tables for the restaurant in Paris are good to go. A success it owes to UNESCO. And for the hotel at St. Bart's, too. We have an extra card up our sleeve by being able to give our customers enameled lava bearing the stamp UNESCO World Heritage Site, Auvergne, France. The exploitation of the resources in the Chêne des Puy is strictly regulated. So as not to damage the forest soils, lumberjacks have come up with an original solution log skidding with horses. They fell, then move the trunks, which are attached to their harnesses. Supervising logging is one of the numerous tasks of the park wardens. We'll be finished by tonight. We have 25 already, and with the horses, we'll manage 30, so we're good. Excellent. The horses give us more flexibility. We can take a tree here, a tree there, zigzagging in between, without leaving clearings. 
So the forest suffers less. Right, and it's better preserved for the future. Whereas with the machine, a lot less. <laughs> Since 1977, the regional natural park of the Auvergne, with its 400,000 hectares, has been the largest volcanic ensemble in Europe. 